Yo, what's up, guys? It's Nick from Big Ends Gaming, and welcome back to another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. As today, there's new content. It's Tuesday, so there's new content. We have new floss rewards and new headliners, and there's some more stuff that's coming up in the week that I'm going to go over. So without further ado, let's hop into it. As always, we look at the calendar in the beginning of all these videos. So today is May 5th. You see the new Battle Royale Flawless Rewards signature, Tom Glavin and Prime Ben Zobrist. Headliners pack featuring awards flashback Jason Hayward and Seth 16. Tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Thursday the 7th, the new event starts, the live series event, where it's live series only squads. I'm interested to see the rewards for that. Um, and then on Friday, the 8th, we have new headliners, which is a Future Stars player. So they're not done with Future Stars. You have a new player program for a Breakout Legend, and then a new Conquest map for third inning, for and it's the Mother's Day map. So that's the new content that's coming out this week. Uh, now I'm gonna, now we're going to go over the new content that is out right now. So the first thing I'm going to go over are the new BR rewards. And they're actually pretty good. A lot of people, I don't know, people haven't really been happy with the BR rewards so far. I think they've been okay, but I think these two are really, are really solid. 95 overall signature series Tom Glavin. We have not seen a lot of signature series cards in the game right now. Uh, because, I mean, signature series was the only, like was the only series at the top and now this year there's signature prime awards and then eventually if we have a season finest and i think postseason had a 99 last year the steven strasberg but so we haven't really they've been dialing it down with the signature series cards there's gonna they're gonna do more obviously but here's a signature series card 95 overall tom glavin i thought that his high overall card would be like a 97 or a 98 because when you think about the Braves Big Three, it's Smoltz and Maddox are obviously going to get 99s and they're Hall of Famers. Tom Glavin was not that far below them. And he's a Hall of Famer too. So I don't think he should be four overalls lower than Greg Maddox and John Smoltz. I think he should be like a 97. I think a 97 would be a perfect rating for him. And I think he could still be a BR Flowers Award at a 97 right now. There aren't that many 97s in the game, and he is not going to be easy to get because he's a BR Flawless reward. So I would have made him like a 97, but that's just me. But anyways, this is still a good card, and I think people are going to underrate the, underrate him just because of his rating and because he's a BR Flawless reward. This is a really good card. 114 stamina, good. 89, 86 per 9s is solid. 96 control with 90 walks per 9 is so unbelievably underrated. That is exceptionally good. You are not going to miss many pitches with this card. 86 velocity is good enough. 97 break is great. Sinker, circle change, sweeping curve, slider, four seam. The only thing that's a little annoying is that it's a sweeping curve instead of a normal curveball. But hey, it's just a... It, uh, what a sweeping curve is, is just a slider, but more movement north and south. So a slurp is just like... It goes... It like curves like that. It's the same thing as a slurve, but it goes up and and down more you get what i'm saying so i'd rather have a slurve than a sweeping curve but it's still good and he has the fastball so this is a good card it's gonna be very hard to obtain him obviously but if you can it's a really good card and then the other br flawless reward is this 94 overall prime ben zobris and this is another really good card i mean his hitting stats yeah they aren't insane 106 83 for contact 82 80 for power 83 vision but he is a swish hitter. He has great fielding at 86 and good reaction and solid arm. But he can play everywhere. He can play every position except for catcher. This is a this is a really good card. Like he can play everywhere. He's sort of like a mini five tool player. He is definitely a five tool player for for contact. I don't know if for power, but he he has the 80 versus both sides, so he meets the threshold. He has 83 vision, which is solid. He has 86 fielding, which is which is good. He has an eh arm, but that's only going to matter if you play him in the outfield. And he's a switch hitter. Another really good card. Now we are going to go to headliners. And this week's headliners you saw earlier was an awards series, Jason Hayward. Now here's the Jason Hayward, who really shocked me. I thought his stats were going to be worse, but his stats are actually pretty good. 195 versus righties. 64 and 74 versus lefties he's a gold glove card so he's going to have excellent fielding which he does 94 95 90 91 that's elite with 82 speed 
He can play right, left, and center. This is a, a, an underrated card. I mean, he's not going to be that great against lefties, but he's a good card. So this was of his season in 2012. He is currently going for 50k on the market. So yeah, before I open this headliner pack, I pulled a bunch of diamonds and I have the clip saved. So I'm just going to roll through them right now. I finally did it. I pulled a diamond out of a bong as a habit pack. Uh, so yeah, uh, I made a decision and I did the prospects collection just because I wanted to really. And I, I feel like, I don't know, I like those cards that Juan Frank was pretty cool. And since I had a lot of stubs to spend because I just got the boss. Um, I originally wasn't going to do it, but I thought about it. And by the time that I'm going to need to get the three cards for the next voucher... I will definitely be at levels 45 prestige, which is a 90 plus, which is a minimum of 100k and a maximum of 300k profit from that one pack. So I did it. Um, and when you complete it, you get a bond as a habit bundle. You get five packs as well as the Wander Franco. And I actually pulled a diamond out of a bond as a habit pack. So let's see who it is. National League starting pitcher. Please be someone who's actually expensive. Man, it's Walker Bueller, bro. Why? <laughs> it's Walker Bueller, all right. One more pack, and... Ooh, two. Okay, two diamonds. Can, can this card be worth something, please? Amer no, 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 I'm not doing this. It's Springer. Oh, okay. That was the same, like, graphic that it was with Springer. American League third base. I think this is Bregman's thing. Yeah, Bregman. So I pulled two diamonds, and they're both dirt cheap. So, yeah, I pulled two diamonds out of those ballin' is a habit packs, and I pulled that, uh... Who was it? I don't even remember who it was, but you'll see. Uh, yeah... At least it gave the headliners video three diamond pulls. So, yeah. But whatever. I'll take it. That four diamonds. Yeah, uh, I did another showdown. And I got some Team Affinity packs and we pulled another diamond. Alright, can this, can this diamond actually be worth something? National League. Third baseman. What, is that Arenado? Holy! I just pulled Nolan out of Arenado! Out of a team. Holy crap! I just pulled Nolan Arenado out of a team affinity pack. Yo, that is that is sick. That literally, that literally, that literally just gave me all my stubs back from doing the prospects collection. Now I can title. Now, now I really have a good title. Wow! Oh my god! So yeah, some of them weren't that good, but I did pull Nolan Arenado, and I have not said this, but I did the Prospects Collection for Wanda Franco and the Bond is a Habit Pack Bundle. Um, so yeah, I just decided to do it, and that's really helping me in the event that's currently going on because I'm trying to... We have like today and tomorrow, the event ends after tomorrow, and I'm trying to get these wins because it's just free stubs. I mean, like a Prospect Pack, you could get... Like a Kalenix, get like 30k, 5-pack bundle. The Gavin Lux is like 18k, that's a, that's 50 in total. And then the Bohm is like another 40-something, it's, it's solid. And then you have a Headliners pack too, so you could get a diamond out of that. These are just great rewards. So I'm just trying to get these, so I can just get the free stubs. Um, but yeah, so let's hop into the Headliner pack. I'm only going to buy one, obviously. So yeah. Can I please get a, a good pull? Bronze, bronze, gold. All right. I'll take a gold. It's whatever. So, yeah. That is going to be it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your real snake from Big Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.